last category of transport is vesicular transport. This one's a little different because we're not moving across the membrane, but we're manipulating the membrane itself by making vesicles to move things either in or out of the cell. So this is for moving large particles, even proteins, um, and multiple particles, many at once. It's like bulk transport. So a um, couple types of vesicular transport, which again, all use vesicles, which are made of plasma membrane. Um, one time type is endocytosis. Endo means in. So this is into the cell. There's still some different subtypes of this. Um, one is phagocytosis. This is engulfing um, large particles, often bacteria or large debris that we don't want around. Debris, like that. Um, we've got, uh, notice for all of these, we've got the ECF and ICF separated by our plasma membrane. And then we've got a vesicle that's forming um, from the plasma membrane itself that is taking in a piece of the ECF and actually bringing um, this is ECF in here is now inside this vesicle. Pinocytosis is drinking. So just taking in the ECF. Sometimes there's some solutes inside the ECF. That's it. Same thing though. Obviously there's proteins that regulate this entire process in terms of forming these vesicles and pinching them off and then releasing them into the cell. It's beyond the scope of this class. And then, so that's one, two, three types of endocytosis. The last being receptor mediated endocytosis. This is when there is some sort of um, receptor, a protein receptor that recognizes something in the ECF. Um, a ligand is a molecule that binds to a receptor, right? And it's going to initiate this process. So this is when there is something specific that you wanna take in that can be regulated by the cell itself. In this case, um, this cell is gonna take in any bacteria that it detects as bacteria or any very broad class of foreign substances. In receptor mediated, it's much more specific to a, the presence of a certain um, antigen, so some sort of glycoprotein on a, or other substance that's in the ECF. This is what happens for viruses, viral attack, our immune systems, as well as the process of getting iron into our red blood cells uses receptor mediated endocytosis. We won't see endocytosis a whole lot in this class. We will see a lot more exocytosis. So exo means out. So this is going out of the cell. And basically the reverse thing is happening here. We have secretion or elimination of um, some sort of waste or it could be a hormone, um, milk out of the body. So this either could be into the bloodstream or out of the body. Secretory vesicle is going to fuse with the plasma membrane and release its contents through this kind of fusion pore. Um, the example we'll see most closely in this class is neurotransmitter release. So this is a axon of a neuron. And here you can see exocytosis of neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter then can signal a different cell. So exocytosis is what's happening here um, for neurotransmitter release. Neurotransmitters are not large, but we want a whole lot to be released at once. So this is a useful um, mechanism. Other things that are exocytosis might be larger than neurotransmitters. <laughs>